Hi everyone, my name is Jimmy Barkin. Been teaching hot yoga since 1981. Standing separate leg stretching. To me, this is one of my personal favorite poses. It's a great stretch for the lower back, for the backs of the legs, which you're gonna see. And as you can see, we're still in Costa Rica. And if you're interested in joining us next year, look at the links in the description below. We're gonna head into the Costa Rican yoga studio with senior barking teacher, Lana Vogelstad. She's been with me for a long time now. And we're gonna go over the different variations of the pose. The warm up for the pose, the actual pose itself, different modifications, amplifications, and at the end, stay tuned because she's gonna show you one of the extreme amplification versions of this pose. So let's head into the studio, dive right in. Standing, separate legs, stretching. So we're gonna look at this pose and all the different variations of with senior marketing teacher, Lana Vogelstad. So she's gonna to come to the back of the mat, face this direction, arms overhead, step out to the side, and she's gonna hinge from her hips and come forward, touching the hands to the mat. Now I'm gonna have Lana pull back up for a second. Some of you aren't gonna be able to get down that way because you don't have the hamstring flexibility or lower back flexibility, so how you can go down, you step out to the side the same way. You can bend your knees, place your hands on your thighs, touch one hand to the floor first, and then the other. That's a really good modification to come down into the pose, and you come up the same way. Keep your knees bent, one hand on the thigh, then the other, and up you go. Now the first variation that we do with this pose is just the warm-up that we do in the Barkin Method Yoga class and Hot Vinyasa class. By the way, if you want to take class from me every day, look at the link in the description below for our Hot Yoga On Demand channel. So Lana's going to bring her hands out in front of her. And then just, we'll call this extended downward dog, or Tita Adhanukha Svanasana. And then her hips come back as your chest lowers down, just like you're doing downward dog, but you're in a wide or extended angle. Now, after you've got a nice good stretch, or the teacher tells you, you know, walk your hands back in. And we're going to look at the preliminary grip first. Lana's going to place her hands at the middle of the foot. Bend her knees as much as she needs to, to grab those feet. Now, let's say you can't grab your feet. Get your legs even further apart so you can grab a hold. To keep it. I'd rather you have your knees bent and the fingers underneath the feet than to straighten the legs and have your hands up here on your calf muscle. So now, once you've got your grip, you're gonna pull up onto your feet. You're pulling up this way. Your calf muscle and your forearms are gonna be touching and you're gonna slowly bring your shoulders up and your head down like a turtle sticking his head out of the neck. So down she goes to touch the top of the head on the floor. Now as you start to get a little more flexible and you can catch your head to the floor fairly easily, the little more advanced grip, you're gonna grab behind the heels. I still like the fingers underneath, it's gonna give you nice leverage. Same thing, you're gonna pull up to stretch the top of the head, not the forehead, to the floor, because if you touch your forehead to the floor, let's watch Lana do that for a second. You touch your forehead to the floor, you're actually gonna crunch your neck. Now I know they say in other styles of yoga, or hot yoga, I won't mention any names, <coughs> but they have you touch your forehead on the floor, and I think that crunches the neck. I like the top of the head on the floor. Now toward the end of the pose, remember our forearms are close to the calf muscles, but you can see that this causes a little bit of a rounding of the spine. So what you can do is bend your elbows forward and look how nice and flat Lot is back on. So that's sort of the turbocharged pull at the end. Now, we just magically turn to face the front because I want you to see Lana's feet parallel with each other in the hot yoga world. In the Bikram world, they tell you to turn your toes and pigeon toe. I believe it takes a lot of pressure on the sacrum. So keep your feet parallel in this position the whole time. Now I'm gonna show you the first advanced variation. Lana's gonna place her hands in reverse on the scar. So watch how she does it. She's gonna slowly work her fingers all the way up, all the way, eventually all the way to the neck. Now I'm gonna have her turn around so you can get a better view. And from this position, she's just gonna once again hinge from the hips and come all the way forward, touching her the top of the head on the floor. Once again, keep those, those feet parallel. And that's the first 
advanced variation of separate leg stretching. Now I'm going to show you the extreme version. You can definitely try it. Some of you aren't going to get close to it. Some of you might. Maybe you're just going to enjoy watching it. We call this Dandayamana Porna Kormasana, or standing full tortoise. My teacher Bikram would nickname it Guillotine Chop. And we'll see why. So, Lana does this really well. She's going to first squat down to soften her IT band. It's going to be a really good start. Because you got to get this nice and loose. Then she's going to come up, grab her right calf muscles, so the thumbs on the inside, fingers on the outside. As she goes on her toes, she's going to work this shoulder underneath the thigh. And she's going to drop that down, do the same thing with the left side. This is where your grip is. Shoulder. Work it. Work it underneath. A lot of you are going to be just here. But as you get more advanced, once the shoulders come through, then you can bring your arms back around. Clasp the hands. Or if you can't clasp them, let go for a second. You can use a towel here and use it as a brace before you can clasp the hands. And then you're going to bring your chin to the chest and slowly begin to straighten the legs. Once again, we did a magic jump cut so you can see Lana in side angle. And this is why they call it guillotine jump, because the head's coming all the way through. And what you have to do to get to this full position, if you're lucky enough to get all the way around, you've got to relax the hamstring as you slowly begin to straighten the legs. Don't force it, don't push it. You've got to relax into it. The grip is where your strength is. This is all nice and loose. And that's the guillotine chop. And there it is, that separate leg stretching, the two variations, and especially the standing full tortoise or the guillotine chop. A big round of applause for Lana, because that's a pretty intense pose. That is our episode for today. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, any comments you have, I get to all the comments, so put them down there in the comments below. If you're interested in coming next year with me to Costa Rica, there's links in the description below as well. And I'll see you at the next video.